It's that time again to explore the interwebs randomly and see what my production team has for me to react to. All right, so we're on this one right here. Let's uh, see what we got. Ah, how, nat how natural gut is made. Check this out. I like the soundtrack. Sports men and women and musicians throughout the world rely on natural gut strings to achieve the best performance. <laughs> okay, so, so this is obviously really old. Uh, I'm going to be really curious to see, I, I mean, it's going to be one of those kind of old timey, you know, kind of funny productions. I, I, I don't, is it, is it like no longer PC to use gut strings? Like, I don't even know. Um, I've only hit with natural gut once or twice, and it's a really interesting feeling. Like, you feel the ball on the strings uh, longer. I've never honestly watched a video about how they're made before. Whether they're people who just play for fun or top professionals, it is recognized that only natural gut can produce the level of performance that good players demand. <laughs> if you're a good player, you've got to use natural gut. I, I know that there used to be a misnomer that it was cat gut, like it was referred to as cat gut, which I, I hope they're going to say here in the video is, is false, is <laughs> not true. Otherwise, I can't imagine that it would still be a thing. And yet, natural gut strings have been around for over 2,000 years. Making strings from natural gut is one of man's oldest crafts. A bowstring made out of three strands of sheep gut was found in the tomb of Tutankhamun, dating wow. gut strings back to 1350 BC. I did not know that. The pure note the string made when it was plucked soon led to it being used to make music. It is often called cat gut. Yes. But don't worry, <laughs> it owes nothing to the feline species. The name comes from... I wonder where a cat gut, where did the whole cat gut thing come from? I know that's like a, an old school like term in tennis pro shops and you'd call it cat gut. Uh, I, wonder, I wonder how that even like started in the first place. And they said sheep gut back in like Egyptian time. A small Elizabethan violin called a kit. The strings became known as kit gut, which eventually became cat gut. Uh, Natural gut string is produced from a fibrous protein known as collagen which is found in the muscle tissue of the intestines of sheep and cattle. Traditionally, all gut strings were manufactured exclusively from sheep gut. Only recently have strings been produced from cattle intestines, or beef, as it is called in the string-making industry. For products that are used in such glamorous surroundings, the start of the manufacturing process is far from that. Gut is delivered to the Bow brand factory in barrels, each contains the intestines of 1,000 cattle, which has wow, been heavily oh salted gosh. as a preservative. Firstly, the salt has to be washed. So if you're, I mean, real, I mean, real question. Is on it, like, if you're a vegan, like, I guess that rules it out, right? You've got to use, I, obviously, obviously these days it's almost all, you know, synthetic and, um, you know, polyester, poly strings and, and synthetic gut. But... There's still, I mean, Federer, as far as I know, still uses natural gut in, I think it's the crosses, and then uh, poly in the, in the mains, the ones that are parallel to the handle, uh, if I remember correctly. So I wonder if there's like any kind of recent, you know, political movement at all about natural, natural strings. I honestly have no idea, but uh, I would assume like if you don't eat animal products, then you probably wouldn't play tennis with... Animal products? I don't know. Somebody, somebody tell me in the comments down below. From the gut. This is done in five baths, three of them with softening detergent. From the washout, the gut is checked, and any that is fatty or discolored is discarded. The strands are then laid together. The number of strands depends on the gauge that will be required. The strands are looped at both ends and go to the measuring bench. This is crazy. For sport strings, the length must be 42 feet. Two feet will be lost as the strings are re-looped during the process. The gut is then sent to the curing tank where a finely balanced combination of chemicals will sterilize, whiten and cure the gut. So if you've ever used a uh, natural gut, like I've strong you know natural gut before and i've used it just a handful of times in my own rackets 
it's it's a basically the other end of the spectrum of what I prefer. I prefer very dead feeling strings. I use full poly, and and natural gut is the opposite of that. It's like super absorbent and super. It feels like it's pocketing the ball, you know, much longer. But it has like a smell to it. It has a very distinct uh, smell to it. And uh, for whatever reason, just watching this processing is just kind of <laughs> like bringing the, the smell back uh, for me. On the spinning bench, a pre-designated number of twists are put into the strings. Again, dependent on the gauge or strandage before it goes to the drying room. Here, the gut is dried at a controlled level of humidity. The process can take up to three weeks, during which time the gut will have twists applied regularly. Wow. The experience and expertise of the Bow brand staff ensure that this vital stage of the process produces a perfect string. I can't Next believe how like hands-on, it's like so, these are like craftspeople, you know, like it's, it's obviously very delicate and, and like precise uh, process. And it's like, hand, I mean, it, this is making it look like it's all, you know, kind of artisan, kind of handmade. Like, I, I'd be fascinated to know if, like, Wilson, uh, for example, it's the same kind of process or if it's more industrialized, you know? I, I, have, I have no idea. Obviously, this video is pretty old, so, so maybe things have become much more modernized. I don't know, but this is, this is pretty fascinating. Next stop is the holding room where it will be held for up to two weeks to ensure that the gut is totally dry. It can then be moved to a normal, uncontrolled environment. The drying strings feel quite rough at this point and are passed, one at a time, through a centerless grinder where they're polished to a smooth finish. Wow. The strings are then given a weatherproof coating. In the Bow brand factory, quality control is carried out at all stages of the process including a final scrutiny to ensure that there are no cracks or damage to the string and that they are cosmetically acceptable. But natural gut is so useful that even the strings that don't make the standard for sport or music can be used. Because natural gut strings do not lose tension, they are ideal for clock repairers who use them for holding pendulums. Oh my natural gosh. gut keeps the clock running on time. The strings that meet the exacting Bow brand standards are now ready for packaging and dispatch. They will go to sport shops wholesalers, clubs, racket stringers, music shops and instrument repairers in many countries throughout the world. Top tennis and badminton players, whether they're playing in their local club tournament or as an international tournament, have come to rely on Bow brand excellence to back up their skills. For musicians as well, Bow brand natural gut strings have become synonymous with excellence. An excellence achieved through the knowledge, craftsmanship and dedication of the Bow brand workforce. All right, hold on. Bow brand, let me, I, I just need to see if this is still like a current thing. I have no idea if this is the right way to spell it or not. Bow brand gut strings. Oh, it's B-O-W, uh, Bow Brand. All right, let me try, let me try that. Like, is, is this still a, a is this company still? Uh, it doesn't look like it. But, oh, well, maybe. It's, here's like a harp, the Bow Brand Natural Gut. So I guess they're, you know, they're just the manufacturer, but they probably, well, no, because it's showing, you know, that brand as, as the string. So I, I wonder if they at any point supplied, you know, tennis companies? Well, obviously, you know, it said that they did, but I mean like a major, you know, uh, retail brand like like a Luxalon or a Wilson or, or whatever. Oh, here we go. Oh, so it's a British bowbrand.co.uk. This website, this website was done in like 1997. Uh, products. This website was literally designed in 1997. Um, so yeah, I've not seen anything about tennis here specifically. So yeah, I can't imagine, I can't imagine these people do like major tennis uh, brands. Uh, I could be wrong, but just, <laughs> just based on, it looks like they probably specialize in, uh, in music uh, products is what, it, is what it looks like. 
Wow, this website, this website, this website is something else. All right. So are violin strings, is that gut also, or is it just plucking, you know, is it more harp or, um, wow. So many questions. So yeah, I'd be fascinated. I, I can't imagine that modern tennis strings are made in that same kind of process. It's gotta be something different. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if, uh, if you know. But I, that was awesome. Even if it's outdated and old, like I, I love, it's just great history, you know? It's, it's great uh, general knowledge or background about our sports. Uh, but it'd be interesting to know what the modern process is. And also what the modern, um, I can't say I've ever seen anything about it, but this, uh, and I haven't thought much about natural gut recently, but it makes me wonder, like, um, in terms of, like, culture and, like, politics, is it, is it, like, faux pas, you know, these days to use gut strings or not? I honestly have no idea. Let me know if you have any feel, you know, any uh, info on that down below as well. All right, that was an interesting one today. Thanks for coming along on the journey with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think about natural uh, gut strings down below. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll catch you in the next video.